the sad state of our people uniting is that we can't even agree upon what we truly are. Not who we are, not where we come from, what our last name is, what our tribe was or is, what continent you was built on. We can't even agree on being called one thing. Everybody knows that anybody that's darkly or heavily melanated came from Africa. You may not have been born in Africa, but your source is African. <clears throat> but the effects or the aftermath has changed our name to so many different other names. Brazilian, um, Canadian, American. What's that other one I'm looking at? Alaskan. <laughs> Shit. But it's sad how you're in Africa and even the Africans don't even want to be called African. They have European names. When you ask them their name, they'll give you them they'll give you their European name before they give you their African name. It's sad to me because when I was in America, when I would go to different cultural stores, say like I'm going to a Mexican restaurant, I hear Spanish music the whole time. You don't hear no goddamn rap. You don't hear no country. You don't hear nothing else but country. I mean, but Mexican music. Chinese stores, restaurants, wig shops, whatever. Not the wigs though, no, they be playing hip hop because they trying to attract the people. But if you go to an authentic Chinese store, they playing Chinese music. Chinese restaurant, they playing Chinese music in the background. Indian, they playing Indian music. Shit, the, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But you go to an African store, they playing everything but African music. We don't want to be African so bad. We want to be everybody else except the who the fuck we are as gods. We are the parents of these children, everybody that came after us. And we don't seem to recognize that. When we start calling ourselves black, even the Africans call us we black up, uh, black. You can't call, you You in Africa, you don't have the black experiences. You living in Canada, you don't have the black experience. You living in Australia, you don't have the black experience. You cannot call yourself black. But you can call yourself African. That's like me calling myself an Australian. I can't call myself an Australian and be proud of it. But I can call myself African no matter where the fuck I go. I'm going to be proud. But if you are born in goddamn Malaysia and you calling yourself a black American or black because your skin is melanated, that's wrong. That's an American term, black. That's a group of people. That's like a tribe of people. You didn't come from that tribe. You don't know what that experience is. When we stop calling us as Africans, stop calling ourselves black and call ourselves African, we embrace the whole experience. Whether we was grew up in Morocco, in Bali, in Timbuktu, Singapore, Portugal, it doesn't matter where you come from on this planet. If you identify with Africa, Africa rises. Africa strengthens. Africa gains more power. But the more you call yourself black, you're grouping yourself in, you taking, you taking away your own Australian goddamn identity by calling yourselves we blacks. You're not black. Even the fucking Americans in America don't even want to be called black. That is no identity. That is nothing. That's a fucking color. Just like they have, if you don't have a born 
Ghanaian authentic name, you go you call yourself um a fucking day of the week. You reduce yourself to the goddamn day of the week. You don't have no other power to your name but other than a day of the week. This shit is ridiculous. It's something to be proud about, but you don't even be, have an African name that you can even walk around in power and say, I am, or I come from this tribe or this group of people, this mindset, this ethnic background. You grouping yourself in as a black is, is dividing us even more because when the shit come down to it and you have to really get that black experience, you run over to the white side. Oh, I'm not black no more. I'm a, I'm a European. Because they don't see color at this point. They see how you identify what your mindset is. If you're not unapologetic about who you are as a God, you will be treated like a slave. You will get treated like a, a less than a third world country. A castaway. They'll put you in that mindset and keep you there and don't give a fuck. But Africa is a mindset. It's a people. It's just like Asians. And no matter where the fuck they go, they always find and group up with each other. Indians, they find each other and they group up with each other. No matter where the fuck they go. But black people, they'll, they'll get in the same space and then just tear every, everything from the inside out down. Just destroy it. Instead of building within. Even Africans with other Africans know how to fucking build. But as soon as they get with them goddamn blacks, everything go to shit. They say once you go black, you never go back. Fuck you. Once you go African and unmotherfucking apologetic about it, you never go back. Because then you realize who the fuck you are. You are a royal god. Not just a god, you're a royal god walking this plane. It's a lot of royals here, but not many gods or godly royal or royally god or whatever. We got to stop calling ourselves black. That's a fucking color or the void, darkness. If you're referring to it as that, then yeah, ether, give me all that. But if you're just saying it because you don't want to identify as who you are, you're far removed from the source. And when mama start kicking ass, mother earth, mama Africa, she ain't going to recognize you as her child. Because you did everything to stay away from her. Y'all don't want to come back home. I don't get that shit. They scared you so much. Go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. Now nobody don't want to go back to Africa because of the reverse psychology. You afraid of the unknown. Take a fucking chance on you, on life. Love yourself enough to fucking figure this shit out and say, hell, I tried. If it don't work, you get over here and it don't work. That's because you got a fucked up mindset or you had a bad experience and didn't know how to maneuver through it. And so now you're running back to what's comfortable. So you rather go back into the fire, fire, the fucking frying pan. You don't jump. No, you jumped out the frying pan and in, in, in back into the fire. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. You rather be with somebody else that's been abusing you and oppressing you and colonizing you than to stick with your own people. greater that's within us than he or she that's within the if it would that's within this world greater is greater is within us <laughs> than the spirit that's in this world if we got together on a massive level and came together for unity peace love and hair grease Man, just by us being together, vibrating on that frequency alone would shift this whole goddamn planet. It's an energy thing. 
It's not a certain day. It's every fucking day to do a ritual, to do a this, or a wait for the moon, or wait for this, or this eclipse, and this. Oh, gosh. We're going to have a new number, a penumbra, or whatever the fuck that word is. Fuck all that. Every day is our day. The more you do it and stay in sync of what the fuck you're supposed to do every day, it makes it easier. So when they try to do their attacks, we already in sync. Nobody shouldn't have to tell you what to fucking do. It's already in you. The weird shit that you just might not just be like, why the fuck am I doing this? Putting neem leaves on this and why I'm putting moringa leaves on this and why I'm using ninja for this and why I'm you, you, you don't know these herbs because y'all ain't came home to fucking find out. Our power is at home. We letting everybody else in our house steal our shit. They just having a good fucking time. They, they don't rummage so much to where they just sling a shit around because they don't, they, everything they don't went through already. And we still letting them steal. That's like a motherfucker in your house and the robber come every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day. And you just sit back watching. They ain't got you tied up. That's what robbers do. They go to your house and they tie you up, but they ain't even got you tied up no more. You just sitting there watching them take your shit.